Nickelodeon. Certainly in terms of gameplay and two of the hidden bosses on the Wi-Fi scene, Guerrero 18, a Philadelphian, DDD main, going up against Skips, the K rule, winner semifinal action, winner of this one taking on Amaryllis. Definitely a, sort of an established name on Wi-Fi at this point, Amaryllis, and certainly has been locally. But yeah, Guerrero, uh, Guerrero 18 and Skips, a lot to prove here against each other in a battle of the heavyweights. There's something slightly chaotic when you say Philadelphia area DDD main, and I don't know why. It sounds <laughs> you so know funny. damn well why. <laughs> something about that just has like an like an aura of chaos that makes me very nervous. But yeah, we're gonna see a match of the heavy boys here. Uh, Skips, obviously, again, Jersey native, uh, pretty prevalent in these Wi-Fi tournaments. I believe got a top eight at Galaxy Game uh, last week, so. I mean, he is definitely a force to be reckoned with in these streets. And right now, off a very strong start against Guerrero 18, dude. Oh! Oh my gosh! They don't get much stronger than that. Into the depths goes Guerrero 18, an individual who stored a few impressive wins. Actually, uh, notably on Hungry Box as well, Guerrero 18. has got a win on them. I believe that was in a juice box, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, nevertheless. That or actually could have been a DNA now that I think about it. But that's uh that's just where the magic happens. And Skip's certainly not done putting Guerrero into disadvantage. The crown orang cannonball. Gonna try to check him, but that Gordo, the great equalizer for DDD, no matter how much that thing gets nerfed, Koopa, it seems like it always plays a part one way or another. Yeah, no, despite uh even if it gets nerfed however which way it might, it's still very crucial to do these game plan. Oh my god. Spring cleaning, the blunderbuss taking care of uh, DVD all by itself. But you see Guerrero 18 uh, really struggling to find his kill right now. You know, as good as it <laughs> DVD's survivability is one of his best assets. But when you're going up against a character like King K. Rool, uh that can survive just as well, if not better, than you can, uh, then, you know, there's only so much you can do. And right now, Skips is shooting free throws in the gym right now. Ooh. Oh, Speaking man. of free throws, brick right to the face. About to... Had to get one. Uh, had to get one in eventually. Did Guerrero sitting there at 64%? But there's a lot to be made up for. And when you have a belly like Koopa, I can only imagine you can just kind of laugh in the face of that Gordo. That's uh, not going to be an easy proposition for Guerrero. You really got to take advantage of advantage. Stay right here. Yeah, having to be very, very careful right now. But ooh, trying to go for the dash attack, maybe get an early kill. And also, you know, Skips is playing with, with, with borrowed time right now. You know, he's, he's up with the lead piece. He can probably pair with some funny stuff, like what he was probably trying to set up right there. Uh, oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, Guerrero 18 saying enough of this. I'm done here. Yeah, there's only so much you can do in that particular situation. I mean, you're getting set up on, on the platform. There's not a whole lot of room for you to move around those recoveries above the ledge just become that much more impossible and we're going to take a look at this second stock right here yeah you, you try to go to ledge but k rule is just sitting there with the blunderbuss and yeah this is you're able to get a little bit of redemption here shoot the cannonball back in their face but yeah this is uh it's all the more harsh right because you know that they don't even need to go to ledge to grab the crown which is Generally, how you uh, get K rules just a little flustered, you take control of their crown and make it a non factor as we're going to Smashville. Uh, I mean, Guerrero oh, in this instance. <laughs> yeah, I guess not, but. DD's not a fan of the suburbs, I guess. Nor am I, so I understand, but <laughs> that's. Uh, regardless, it's. I, look, I, I am what I am, Koopa. But. Uh, in this game number two, what are you expecting from Guerrero? If it's not if it's not going to be Smashville, surely you got to do something to differentiate yourself and counteract all the nonsense that the armored belly gives you. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a tall task because a lot of what King Dedede likes to do, like I said, is what King Kero likes to do, and King Kero has again a tangible item to play with uh, in the crown, and uh, you know he has a a pretty great uh, neutral B as well as his, at his disposal. So, I don't know. I think uh, playing around with the tangible item is, is going to be huge, of course. Uh, you know, maybe trying to pick some less aggressive. Like, you went for a couple of aggressive options, like, you know, off ledge and stuff like that. So, I don't I, I don't know. Maybe use your best asset in King Unity, and that's your insane survivability. And, you know, maybe try to, to long one out here against Skips. But we'll see you soon. Oh, oh that's down air. 
that's how you get things done. You have that big old hammer. You might as well destroy things with it. And that first stock of skips is first on the list for Guerrero 18. Yeah, no, I was also going to say that, you know, one of the most exploitable parts of King K. Rool, uh, you know, is the fact that his, uh, his recovery is very... Uh, Susceptible to edge guarding if he's forced to recover straight below, and <laughs> both characters having the the same idea of sucking wind, uh, but it is uh, King K. Roll that comes out on top. Well, in that instance, but that's generally how it works. You know, counteracting that neutral B is not something that one does very easily. Down smash, maybe just a little too antsy to get that first stock off of the board is skips, and this really, I mean, it's just playing against heavies in general. It's really just. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's that intense, isn't it? The whole goal of heavies is to make you doubt your neutral and in that moment of hesitation, they bite your head off with one or two moves that just pile on the damage and probably just take your stock way earlier than you were expecting. Yeah, 100% man, Kip's still trying to get the first stock off. And again, now we're seeing the best asset of King Beauty uh, come into play, like we mentioned. His character can live forever. King Deity is a lot like, uh, you oh. know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's not perishable. He it doesn't feel like he can live forever through two world wars. But uh, Skip's finally able to get on the board here, having a bit of ground to make up. But again, nothing that King K. Rool can't, uh, you know, with a couple of quick wins in neutral uh, can make up for sure. Yeah, I mean, the fact that that up air, I mean, that up, K. Rool up air, pretty darn good. That interaction was, uh, that was a time. Let me tell you, yeah. I mean, dude, I don't know whose mouth is open more, DDDs or yours at this point, Koopa, because we're seeing <laughs> just that shocking amount of action here in this game, too. The skips was like two or three, like, big brain plays away from, like, putting on a clinic right there. That was almost disgusting. My jaw is, is in a uh, constant state of drop because I, I love watching the both these characters fight so much because it's just so goofy like the benny hill team is just constantly playing in my head at all times when i'm watching blood screen oh, whoa Gur no Guerrero gets uh tagged to below the stage and skips working hard to make this comeback happen that's the thing about heavies they tend to be heavy i mean i wonder i know it's a shocking uh shocking revelation <laughs> nevertheless the burial into the smash attack and that's going to do it for that second stock of guerrero 18 however Certainly not out of it yet. You uh, you have the power to make this happen. Back throw, probably a little bit of a DI check, but not going to oh, kill in no that instance. Good tech by Guerrero18, maintaining their residency in Texylvania, at least for now. But, oh, does not get the roll read wow. that they were looking for. Guerrero able to take the stock, but skips. When they get rolling, they do stuff like that. Skips is going to move on. And, yeah. Down two confirms that that percentage they rarely missed, and skips. Well, they're going to take down the beast that is Guerrero 18, moving on to face Amaryllis in winners. Yeah, in this case, the crocodile monarchy comes out on top of the penguin monarchy. Uh, and yeah, listen, it, a, a lot of the tricks that come with playing a heavy get zapped away when you're playing against another heavy. And King K. Rule is, is, you know, very popular in these Wi Fi brackets, you know, the likes of Kirby Kid. And others come to mind as, you know, a uh, high-level representation for this character. And Skips as well. You know, he is uh, no one to scoff at in these Wi-Fi brackets. This, King K. Rool has such a, a plethora of moves, uh, you know, to keep you at bay. And, again, the, the constant fear of the of the uh, the gut check reflector, you know, and all that other stuff you have to play around with. Uh, again, uh, it was heavy on heavy crime, Stu. That's what it was. It's, uh, Stu, as, uh, as Skips will be moving on in, uh, in the winner's bracket.